Hello everyone, I'm Moxie and I stream Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke Challenges on Twitch. Whenever I'm live streaming DS games, I get tons of questions about how I make my Desmume emulator settings look so smooth and high resolution. This is a quick guide to get the best graphics and performance for playing DS games on the Desmume emulator. You'll need a specific version of Desmume that has enhanced custom 3D textures. I've linked this in the comments below. Shout out to 4th Gen Gamer for the video on this custom Desmume version, and shout out to Pokemon Challenges for these Desmume settings. First, let's review the settings to make your emulator run smoothly with as little lag as possible. Navigate to Config and then select Emulation Settings. Then you'll enable the Use Dynamic Recompiler option. Make sure the value set to 100. Next, you'll go back to Config and select Sound Settings. Select Synchronous for your synchronization mode, followed by Sync Method N just below. Now we'll review the best settings to get your graphics looking smooth and crisp. Navigate to Config and hover over High Resolution 3D Renderer. I personally use the highest settings, X4, 1024 by 768. Next, you'll navigate once again to the Config menu and select 3D Settings. OpenGL versus Soft Rasterizer determines which part of your computer will be doing the most work to render the graphics. OpenGL is more GPU intensive, while Soft Rasterizer is more CPU intensive. Soft Rasterizer technically renders more accurately, but if you're a content creator who live streams, you'll likely want to use the OpenGL settings to ease the load on your CPU. Make sure to also enable anti-aliasing below. Use your discretion on choosing the highest settings based on your hardware. Let's talk about optimal speed up settings. Navigate to config and hover over frame skip. Select limit frame rate to make the game smoother when not speeding up. Then you'll select both auto minimize skipping and number nine. To get the most out of these speed up settings, navigate to config, then select hotkey config. Whether you're playing on keyboard or on a controller, you'll choose one input to map to both fast forward toggle and limit frame rate toggle. It must be the same input for both. Now you can seamlessly toggle speed up on and off with just one input. Next, under the config options, select fast forward slash slow motion speed limit and make sure fast is set to unlimited and slow is set to 50 FPS. Finally, since the in-game sound is quite jarring when speeding up, navigate back to config and select hotkey config. Select tools from the drop-down menu then choose an input for toggle sound enable. If you found this helpful or have additional questions, please subscribe and drop a note in the comments. Once again, I stream Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke challenges on twitch.tv slash moxie. Follow me there if you want to come hang out when I'm live. Hope you enjoyed the video and best of luck on your runs.